introduction. Hi, my name is Tanya Wright. I am the author of the Brady Bow series. Um, currently, I am working on the fourth book, Paella. And I would like to share with you some ideas I have about creating a scene. Now, normally when I'm creating a scene, I'm using scene cards. And I can show you that these are index cards that I put my scenes on when I'm writing a story. Well, for this project, I would like to do a scene that I can build. So I want to build out one of the scenes in the story. That's my inspiration. So for this creative project, I want to share with you how I do this. Now, one of the first things I do is I create a map of the whole process. And you can see it's not a completely done map. It's just kind of a drawing that shows my box and kind of where I want things to go on my box. Um, so that's just kind of a sketch to kind of keep me focused on kind of a general idea of how I want things. First thing we're going to do is we're not going to do all this in one day because this is quite a project. So we're going to do the first step of outlining the walkway for this. And I'm going to take a pencil and a ruler that I have here. And mind you, this is not going to look probably exactly like Barcelona in Spain, but it's going to be my little flavor of it just as inspiration for the scene. And it's a good way to kind of motivate yourself and to uh, do something creative. And I like to build things. So I am just creating a walkway with a ruler on my box. And I will show you how this looks in just a minute. And I'm gonna to have to make these lines a little darker um, but in this book, as we're doing this, this is about, in my little scene, it's going to be a, like a castle type house because it's going to have an orphanage. That's where Brady Bow is in the story scene that I want to create. She is in Barcelona volunteering at this orphanage and one of the kids that she meets at the orphanage is going to take her to this really, really rich person's house where they sneak in and um, get some things. And I don't want to tell you too much, but let's see. I think I need to go just a little further with my line and then I can show you. Cause I'm just really creating uh, a pathway here. So that's gonna be one of the things that I'm gonna build out here and uh, this is a little tricky because once I do this you can always make changes to it so don't worry about that but I just got another idea while I was telling you that about how to make this cool all right so I'm going to show you the pathway here that I created so that you can kind of see. So you see my dark lines here? This is kind of the walkway that's going to lead. And we're gonna have the King's Castle type deal here. This is gonna be sort of a courtyard. That's the idea I just had. Hey, that make a cool courtyard. The orphanage is gonna be right in this area. And as we go, I'll show you some more inspirations that I have. But you can see how my pathway kind of changed even from my drawing. So as you do this, you can play around with different things that kind of work for you. And instead of having it all of that that way, like there, it's going to cut off right there. So it kind of opens up this way. All right. One last thing I'm going to show you because next time I come back, you probably won't. I don't want to sit here and have you watch me paint, but this is going to be green. This is my green yard and grass everywhere and you just want to get uh and since i'm working with such a large surface i'm not even going to be that uh and i can do this i'm not even going to be that 
careful because I have all this to work with. So I don't have a cup on me right now. So I'm gonna put my paper there and I'm going to get a brush and show you brush and I got a big brush because I have such a big surface to paint on. All right, here we go. Put the first color down. And remember, you may need more than one because I got words on this box. You have to cover them up. But when you come back and view this video, I'm going to show you what it looks like to have all my landscaping like this part, the green part done. You'll see it done and it'll be covered up and you can see kind of the letters are still showing through. So it might take a few coats, but that's it. Thank you for watching and please come back and see this finish. You are going to be amazed.